everyone. Today we're going to be working on five pentagon shaped terracotta pendants and this typically has five sides. So to start off with this is a slab of clay that I'm rolling into a thickness of 0.6 centimeters. Once I've rolled this I would smoothen it using my fettling knife. Uh, I would smoothen both the back and the front and using an oil uh, oiled cookie cutter. I know this is a square and I told you a five-sided uh, terracotta pendant but we'll just see eventually how this becomes a five-sided pendant. So once it is cut, I smoothen. Again, I smoothen the surface with my fettling knife and I create the fifth side by cutting the top off. There you go. I make four more such pieces and now we can individually begin designing each of them. For the first design, I'm using my fettling knife, drawing double lines in this manner, a checkered pattern as a border. Using a nozzle, I add the round design. Once again, even if you do not have a nozzle, you can also use a ballpoint pen refill. I draw a line in the center and then short lines in this manner on either sides. And there you go, that's the first design. I'm using a gauge 24 nichrome wire U pin as a hook and a gungru bead at the base. I attach it using my bent nose plier. And there you go, the first design is ready. Moving on to the second one, using a round shaped cookie cutter, I draw a semicircular curve, a shape. Now this is where I think uh, I repeatedly mentioned that um, the concentric cookie cutters of different sizes basically and how handy they come uh, while doing designs like this. I'm using my nozzle for something like this. You can use a, a ruler um, or some sort of a scale in order to get equidistant lines. I'm drawing this using my fettling knife. Once again, this is a super easy pendant and uh, the outcome is really nice. Uses very few tools. Um, and even if you do not have a fettling knife, you can just go ahead and use a regular knife. I'm using a ballpoint pen refill to create a dotted texture and I'm going to be doing this in the alternate um, columns. I'm using my nozzle. Once again, alternative for this is using a ballpoint pen refill and there you go. This design is also ready. To finish it off, I'm attaching a gunguru bead at the base using my bent nose plier and a gauge 24 nichrome wire U-pin on top. And there you go. This too is ready. Moving on to the third design, I draw a line in the center using my fettling knife. This is just a wooden dowel that I keep using uh, in order to uh, get equidistant lines. Once again, uh, even if you do not have something like this, you could just use a scale and uh, measure. Uh, this is just about uh, half a centimeter apart. This is a short rigid blade that helps me uh, get this kind of a texture when pressed flat in a 45 degree angle. By now, I'm pretty sure most of you uh, must have realized that this actually happens to be one of my favorite textures. It's, it's just a lovely pattern and uh, I, I, I know it's, it's probably repeated multiple times, but I, uh, but I think it really looks nice. Uh, when it's done in this manner. Again, the third design is also ready. Finishing this off with a guru bead at the base and a nichrome wire uh, gauge 24 U pin on top. Moving on to the fourth one, this is a pen cap. This is a really, really easy design. Would look really pretty when it's uh, painted. Like I said, all of these designs are uh, made keeping in mind, rather visualizing how the end product would actually look. How each of them uh, are going to be painted Some in some of the pieces. I'm also imagining what color combinations would look great. So this is my needle tool um, that I'm just 
just changing the sides you've seen me do this as well and there you go this design is also ready I'm finishing off uh, using a gumru bead at the base attaching it using my bent nose plier and a hook um, a gauge 24 nichrome wire u pin hook on top and there you go the fifth one now i'm using a square double and pressing this kind of a square shaped design on the clay using my nozzle or a ballpoint pen refill making this kind of a circular design using this part of a pen I'm making a floral design now this is a short rigid blade once again if you do not have this you can always just use a knife parts of the pen like I said making a floral design I'm going to be doing this on the other side as well using my fettling knife adding these kind of short lines ready in terms of finishing up with the last design of the fifth one as well and there you go adding a little bit of texture uh, using my ballpoint pen refill just gives a lot more depth for a few designs and that's why I like doing that finishing this off with a guru bead at the base attaching it using my bent nose plier and a gauge 24 micro wire u pin on top and there you go all the five designs are ready so I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video it's a unique design a unique shape um, all of these designs would look absolutely so pretty and so beautiful once they are painted so I really hope uh, you all enjoyed watching this please do let me know what you think of the video in the comment section and as always i'll try and get back to each and every one of you thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching